Uh, the Artemis 1 SLS rocket launched from Kennedy Space Center. Yeah, if this mission is successful, it will stage for Americans to return to the lunar surface in just a few years. NBC's Chris Pallone joins us now live from Kennedy Space Center with the story. Chris, good morning. Yeah, and Dave and Maureen, good morning to you. What a morning it's already been here at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. What a thing it has been uh, personally for me to witness a really remarkable launch this morning after months of delays caused both by technical problems and not one but two hurricanes. The next phase of American space exploration is finally off the ground. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. America is headed back to the moon. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. After two scrub launch attempts and two hurricane delays, the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built, the SLS, lit up the night sky and rattled the ground across Florida's space coast as it roared toward the heavens. It's on a 26-day mission, sending the uncrewed Orion capsule to orbit the moon for two weeks before returning to Earth and splashing down in the Pacific next month. We're beyond the one small step. Now we're into the giant leap uh, part of it now. With Artemis 1 now in space, the next mission will send astronauts to orbit the moon in about two years. Then in 2025 or 26, Americans will land on the lunar surface for the first time since the 70s. It's a future where NASA will land the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. During the Apollo program, the moon was the goal. Now with Artemis, it's just the beginning. This is about putting footsteps into the solar system to be permanent explorers. So not only the moon, but asteroids, Mars, and eventually beyond. The rocket endured Hurricane Nicole's wrath last week out on the launch pad. High winds blew strips of rubber caulk off the Orion capsule, stoking fears the mission would have to be delayed again. But engineers decided the rocket was safe to fly, setting the stage for this morning's spectacular launch. And halfway through this mission, the Orion crew capsule, which is now on its way to the moon, will pass within 60 miles of the moon, and then it will go 40,000 miles past it. It will be 300,000 miles from Earth. That will be the deepest in space any spacecraft designed for humans has ever gone. Dave, back to you. Very exciting. Chris Plone, thank you.